Yo, what's up, caps? How are you guys? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a little rough for y'all people, right? I feel this energy of like your person, like just having it a little bit rough since they haven't been with you. I don't know where that energy is coming from. That's not how I planned on starting off the message, but uh, they're having it a little rough. Either way, Cap, we're going to go ahead and get into this energy. We're going to break down your person over here, you over here, and see what's going on within this connection. You guys, don't forget to check out my clothing website, blackmadonnahp.com. It's definitely a clothing website for the grown and sexy. Capricorns, you might actually like it, so make sure you check it out, okay? Either way, let's get in this energy and see what's up with you and your person. I love it. What's going on with Capricorn's person, please? I I know I seen that card at the bottom. That's crazy. Connecting with Gaia. <laughs> oh my gosh. You could be dealing with another herb sign. I had to laugh because when you did all you can do, you can't do nothing but stand, right? And reach out to God and be like, God, you know... Please help me with Capricorn. Interesting. You got water magic. So are you dealing with the um a water sign or is this you being full of emotions? Because you're showing up as the bottom at the bottom in this earth magic. But um you definitely got emotions overflowing in your energy. But um let's see what's going on for you guys. So for, for you, Cap. I'm going to use this deck right here. Use this deck right here for your person. And get it in. So let's go ahead and get started. Beloved, what's going on for Capricorn's person? Why is this person feeling overwhelmed um, in life? What's going on with Capricorn's person? Huh? I'm dreaming, dreaming of you until tomorrow. Is that Selena? I don't know that song, so that is definitely for you, Capricorn. This person is doing healing. The star is uh, right in the bottom of the deck. A lot of, a lot of energy of connecting with God, right? Having faith, trying to believe for something. Okay, let's see what's up. Love it. What's going on with Capricorn's person? Two more, please. One more, please. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. You know, Cap, for them, this ain't over. You may think it's over, but they like this just a pause. You know, I'm going to get Capricorn back one way or another. So, Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Oh, the five of wands, mm. the ten of pentacles, <laughs> the five of swords, the eight of pentacles, and damn, they page of cups. Satch had that same card in that uh, in, in the um the odd man out. Let's see what's going on for uh Capricorn. I see why this person going through right now having it hard. They got the five of wands and the five of swords with a ten of pentacles energy. Drama and strife all around. Okay? Could be in their family life, in their work life, like in their finances. Like just not, I don't know. Things just not coming together with them. This this is one of those moments and I'm going to keep talking about those moments of impact. Okay? But this is one of those moments of impact that changes a person's life and I feel like this is what this person is going through, like a moment of impact. Something that is going to be so impactful in their life, but they ain't going to have no nothing else to do but just change, right? It's, it's, it's that moments of impact to me is like the tower, right? It's like that moment where, you know, you are fucked up, waited too long, you know? Let's see, what's going on with Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more, please. Thank you. Yeah, 
Capricorn, the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's why I was getting ready to say, Capricorn, you ain't slick. Because you still love this person. You got the Emperor and the Lovers, right? You got the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Capricorn, you're very interesting right now. I'm going to tell you why. Because you still got a lot of emotion and desire for this person, right? Um, but the thing with you right now is you're not going to play their game, right? Like, you ignoring them, you throwing up all your guard signals, right? Like, nope, nope, stop. Do not press go. Do not collect 200. Just stop where you are, you know? Like, don't come over here. Because at this time, at in this moment... You're just not playing that game anymore. It's not that you don't love this person or care about this person. You're just tired of the bullshit for the most part. You've gotten into this Queen of Swords energy and you're standing on your standing on your um standing on your own two feet at this time. You don't want no drama, you don't want no arguments. I don't even think you want to really talk about it. The way that that sword is down, like you done talking. You feel like you've said all you need to say to this person. And this person like took you for granted. And what's even crazier, Cap, is that I feel like you're willing to wait for something e even better to come towards you. Like I'm not in no rush. Like I'm going to sit here. I'm going to um, get my bread up. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to take care of me. But uh, ain't nobody finna play me like this person did. And, you know, all the while, what's interesting is, uh, you know, you showing up in the Queen of Swords, but you got your Emperor sitting here, right? So, you know, like, this was your person. Like, you, this was the person either you were married to, you were in a relationship with, something like that. But, you know, this person was an inner, wasn't an energetic match for you, right? Because looking at this Emperor card, you know, when you look a little deeper into the card... Look who thrown this person sitting on and feeling good about them damn selves with all that fire and brim around there, right? Two very different vibrational energies, right? Like the fire and ice, right? Fire and ice don't mix because that fire is going to melt that ice, which you probably got melted in this relationship. You probably went through a whole lot with this damn person because they was under the influence of a darker energy, right? They thought they was the boss and they were in control and so on and so forth, not realizing like, oh, you know what? That's actually my throne that you sitting on. And uh, I'm really the boss, but I'm going to let you think that you in control. I keep forgetting when I get in Capricorn that y'all... um. That y'all uh, uh, um, card is the card of El Diablo, right? But this person was trying to take your spot, take your place. Or, Cap, that's you over there sitting in your power and that uh, Emperor's energy, okay? Feeling like you are the boss, like you've taken, you've taken your position. You're not, either way. You're not playing no games with this damn person anymore. You have had enough, right? I feel like you went through your sorrow. You went through your pain. You loved. You cared. You were compassionate. You were forgiving. All of that. And you just got freaking tired. But I definitely get the energy of they, they thought they was the boss of you. Trying to run and control you in some type of way, Cap. Right? You gave a lot to this person. You were, you know, you were, in this, in this situation, I feel like you stepped out of your element. And you made yourself appear less than what you were worth. Like, you gave away some of your power. Because you really, and I feel like the reason why you coming up um, in this water magic energy, because you really got a whole lot of love to give. But when you pull back your love, when you pull back away from somebody, you're just not dealing with that shit right you pouring that love back into yourself because you ain't playing no games with this person block delete ignore right that's what you own with this person at this time it's like you don't want to deal with the bullshit it's like it, it, is this person i don't know why i'm getting this energy of like this tornado and this person when they come into your life is like Right? 
It's like everything just gets out of whack with you and shit. And then what's crazy, they're showing up as a page of cups. So I know you had to leave the relationship, even though you probably try to let them feel like they had a little power. But like I said, that's because you had to step out of your power to make this person feel like they were adequate for you. Okay. Now, they over here with the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Man, this person's life is rocking right now, okay? You know how when karma hit and it comes at you from all type of different ways? Because that Ten of Pentacles on their side is in reverse the way I'm getting into my head. I mean, drama is coming from every angle, every t like. Like, you know how when things just don't work out for you, no matter what you do, no matter what type of effort, because because the will has turned and now you're dealing with your karma. This is what this person going through. It's like bullshit coming at them out of every cracking crevice, right? They got problems with their kids, their mama, they um their cousins, their sisters, their aunties, their co-workers, you know, people at the stores, people at the mall, like wherever they go, it's just like trouble is following them right now, right? I feel like wow. This is crazy. With this Ten of Pentacles being in reverse. They need some type of assistance. Or they're getting some type of assistance from somebody else. They're they're borrowing from people. They're taking out a loan or something like that. Like their finances is not, man. And what's crazy is they trying to get them up. But every time they get them up, it's like it's a, a thief in the dark that's coming to take their shit. But so much drama is surrounding them. They got so many problems. And you know what else? Set, uh, I mean, Capricorn. They talking about you to everybody they can. Anybody that can listen, your name is in their mouth. Like they want everybody to know, yeah, Capricorn did this to me. Yeah, y'all. Me and Capricorn ain't together because Cap did this X, Y, Z. You know, to them, it's like... It's everybody else's fault but theirs, right? So, you know, you two not being together, that's uh, that's your fault. You know, you, you did something wrong or something like that. Um, you know, them going through all of these things, it's your fault. Because if y'all were still together, they would still have their finances in order. They feel like you took something from them. I'm hearing something about... A, uh, or court docket or something. So this person could be going to court or something. Some type of legal issues. Um, their bank account could be an overdraft. This person, they having problems with their kids, mom. Like I said, it's, it's rough on the end of the spectrum right now. Real, real rough. I want to get some more on what's going on with this person. Because it's rough over here on this side. Okay? You want some fuck them shit, right? You ain't dealing with them. But they over here going through. Beloved, what's going on with, um, with Capricorn's person? Can you please show, show us what's going on with Capricorn's person, please? way this person got exposed okay with this ace of wands ten of swords something they were doing they got exposed for this and this was like um this is publicly right like um on social media through their family friends something something that they were trying to hide or something they got exposed yep yep they not having, since you've been gone, they whole life went to shit. That's why all their, hold on, let's see what's in this trash. Their sweet dreams, their goals, their ambition, all day plans, okay? This nine of pentacles, that nine of pentacles is in reverse. They not doing well, Cap. 
I hate to say this about this person, but they are not doing well. Um, they're they struggling. Their money is real, real funny. Okay, and all their goals are in the garbage. Like they, this person's giving up. This is the person that's giving up hope. This, this is this is why this person is in this energy of God. Please just help me, God. Just help me. Right? Because whatever is going on with this person, like, it's, it's, it's affecting their entire life. Not just some aspects. And it could be from the heartbreak. It could be from the pain or whatever. But uh, they want to blame it all on you, Cap. You know, they, they'll blame it on anybody but them damn selves. But it's, it's bad everywhere for them right now. And I feel like I need to say that they brought them up on themselves. I don't know why I need to say that. But all of this they brought on themselves. Okay. Beloved, what's going on with Capricorn's person? How does this person feel about Capricorn at this time? How does this person feel about Capricorn at this time? And I'm going to use my BMHP table etiquette love oracle to this up. I don't know what that's about. That's about. Wow. Yep, it's your fault. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or something. And the reason why I said it's your fault, I'm so hurt. How did I let you get away? I'm sad without you. I need you in my life. It's Capricorn's fault. If Capricorn wouldn't have left me, I I won't be going through this. If Capricorn was still here, you know, things would be better. I'm coming back to you. Stop pushing me away. Told you, you ain't, psh, you are not jammed with this person. You don't care how much you love them. Whatever they did to you, it stung you. And you are not going for none of they BS that they be on no more, okay? And they know it, okay? I want to get a couple, see how you feel about them. How does Cap feel about this person? Let's put those over here. How does Cap feel about this person, please? Uh, how does Cap feel about this person? That's funny that came out. You feel like it's hard for their ass to be faithful. <laughs> I know I, it says it's hard for me to be faithful. But you feel like it's hard for their ass to be faithful. You know that the silence is killing them. And that they want to come to you now. Right? You know this. Without a shadow of a doubt. And they want to act like it never happened. This is all the things you know. And usually I just read the cards you know, for what they say. But for you, Cap, the way I'm getting it is like, these are the things you know about this person. You know this person has a hard time being faithful. You know that you not talking to them is killing their motherfucking ass. And you also know that they want to act like whatever they did to you didn't happen. And I feel like you ain't forgetting. You forgave, but this, you know, this is not mama, uh, what, mother love, forgive and forget. Like, you ain't for, uh, forgetting this right now. You're forgiving it, but you're moving on with your life. And this person knows that. Okay, Kat. Either way, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so. Take care.